And it was breaking news on 12 News this morning. Major flames at an early morning house fire that sent a man and woman to Rhode Island Hospital with burns. We have an update now at noon. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer picks up our coverage live in Woonsocket. Well, Kate, police tell us the woman suffered serious burns and is currently in critical condition in the hospital while the man is expected to be OK. Now this noon time, you can see extensive damage to the charred front side of this building. The area firefighters say they found the most flames. Dark smoke fills the sunrise lit sky as flames ravage a three family home. All residents of the building were able to self evacuate prior to us arriving. But during that process, when socket police tell us two residents were burned, including a woman now in the hospital in critical conditions. Firefighters tell us the front of the home was engulfed in flames when they arrived. The front porches were the uh, area where the heaviest fire was located when they arrived. Firefighters were able to contain flames and damage to the front unit of the building. They say the two units in the back were not damaged. When socket fire marshal Glenn Felicio tells us even in the morning, the heat was their biggest challenge. It makes it much more difficult. Uh, the Providence canteen behind you here comes with refreshments for the guys and we cycle crews in and out more often. We had uh, assistance from mutual aid companies from surrounding towns. I know I saw North Smithfield, Lincoln, Cumberland, those towns were on scene. Blackstone, I believe, was here, and then other communities come in to cover our stations. And Felicio also says some communication wires caught fire on a neighboring street, but they are unsure if that is related. Now, both the city and state fire marshal are working to determine an, an exact cause of this fire, but they do say this building is a total loss. Live in Woonsocket, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.